for the life of me. I don't know why stoners like to record themselves just smoking. It's like, in the future, they plan to watch it again while being stoned. But I digress. Let me take this time to speak. Who is Brandon Lee to me? Since I was a child, Bruce Lee has been this force in my life to offer a boy without a father direction. And growing up in the 80s and 90s, we were very limited with our knowledge and our appreciation. Well, that's a, that's a bad way to say it because we could still appreciate shit, but we didn't have immediate access um, to become obsessed with it. There was no means to overindulge in something until you know it like the back of your own hand. Now, I knew Bruce Lee through rumors, speculation, old movies, admiration, and just pure respect for the name. One of the first times I ever called my mom a liar when she told me Bruce Lee died when I was five years old. I told her I was going to run away and go train with him and be the greatest warrior of all time. And she told me that he was dead in such a heartless manner that I called her a liar, ran to my room and cried like a baby. But some years later, you know, to a child retaining, you know, just, just one ideal, it's not easy, especially in an era where you don't have readily available access to the things that you that you desire but I live in America so we have access to pop culture for free growing up on entertainment tonight I was privy to a lot of I guess pop culture yeah just keep keep that reference going popular culture so, and the reason why I bring this up is because I'm trying, I'm trying to circle back. I can still see, like, how old was I? 10? I can still see 10-year-old me finding out that Bruce Lee had kids. completely like terraforming my whole world. I'm like, Bruce Lee has children? Only to find out that Brandon had perished. So it was like a gift and a curse all in one moment for me. It was like my world turned upside down and then flipped right back side up which is the world that we're living in. Now, I was too young to be part of the hip crowd when Brandon was popular. I was just a little kid who loved martial arts. I was the poorest little kid. But I loved martial arts nonetheless. I couldn't take any karate classes. I couldn't do anything physical because of an incident that happened to my uncle. My uncle got a concussion at a football game and my mom prohibited me from playing any sports. Talk about a fucking hindrance, right? So anyways, Brandon Lee to me, was a star taken from us too soon. See, because Bruce Lee, before a martial artist, he was an actor. 
but we all know him as a martial artist. Brandon Lee, we all know him as an actor. We should have known him as a martial artist. Give him a little bit more time when the demand to be as real as possible kicks in. And then it's not just about Brandon um, capturing the burglar. It's about Brandon being a cop. It's about Brandon stopping crime. It's about Brandon being this presence of mixed heritage in society and opening the door for everybody to come in. Brandon is me. And normally as I would address the audience, I would say Brandon is you, but Brandon is not all of you. Just like I'm not all of you. It's a type of person. Some people feel being the bad guy in this day and age is more suitable. It's more fulfilling. Some people are Vegeta rather than Goku because they're privy to knowledge. They're privy that in the end, the hero's arc, they become the villain. And the villain's arc, they become the hero. So we're not all the same. We, we pick and choose our path. You can take elements from both, but in the end, your heart's gonna decide which path do you take. Now, you don't always have to use the arc, you can reach your pinnacle and stay there. But for the sake of storytelling, there's always an issue. And I'm, I'm ranting and I'm raving. This should have been short and sweet. And what makes Brandon Lee so special? He's Bruce Lee's son. That's a clone of the Messiah. And the thing is that when you're a good guy, you don't you're, you're not allowed to spread your wings. You're not allowed to be villainous. If Brandon Lee stepped into LA like me with a little clout with a little clout he would have been busting heads left and right but that's bad for your career that's bad for your image I mean and is that satisfying but the thing is that because you have to do these little tedious task you have to be a part of your environment if you see something's wrong and you don't fix it you know what's going to happen right it's going to remain a problem in your your environment now so people may argue there's some things that you just can't change you can change everything you can change anything Just as you can break anything, you can fix it. Pick a field. This is probably going to be the opening rant. Just, just to get it all out. Just to get, get out everything that, that will take away from honing in on a specific topic with a pure heart rather than how I truly feel because if I if, if I really wanted to break it down you guys call it an accident you guys say these were coincidences that occurred and just became tragic but unfortunately, that's not the case. Unfortunately, that's not the situation. Because history always repeats itself. And once you follow a certain path, you will 
interact in your environment as such. Brandon Lee. Who knew Brandon Lee? No one knew Brandon Lee. Not even Shannon. Shannon was so close, she did not know who Brandon was. She is Brandon. That's how close she is. Look at the disciples. So close. They didn't know he he was trying to get them to fight fight back take back the world it can be done consumerism is not what the human condition is it's not even a part of it it's something created But let's let's keep treating people like they were blades of grass or leaves. What kind of reference would fit? It was an accident, Jonathan. How were they supposed to know that Bruce Lee removed his sweat glands and Bruce Lee... Uh, had a concussion from a, a, a previous stunt. How do they know every habit that he had? You think this just started? Every footstep. Where could Bruce Lee go where he wasn't known and or followed? <laughs> Everyone trying to steal the secrets from the master. To call it their own, to claim it. I mean, remember, this This is uh, where are we? Los Angeles. This is Los Angeles. Everybody trying to steal anything. This is kleptomania. And it's just history repeating itself over and over and over again. But it's time to wake up. It's time to change that. People forget. I mean, if you know somebody's known for being tough, and you're not known for being tough, why would you try? to be tough it doesn't make any sense you want to prove something to yourself you're going to fail anyway it's like a fight you can't win where you you think you're going to get lucky I got a puncher's chance but not by luck nothing comes overnight Because even if you want to make a joke, it still takes that much time to get your body there. That's my rebuttal. Brandon Bruce Lee was James Dean and Bruce Lee. Brandon Lee was white Bruce Lee.
dude was kicking and punching since birth. He's like me. He's like, Brandon Lee is me. Except he would have the resources to be so refined, you wouldn't make a comparison. He would make the comparison. Brandon Lee is teaching me to get to where I need to be socially. And just in case we want to claim more accidents, what was a Chinese girl doing with an American pill in China? in the 70s some could argue have you seen China in the 70s have you seen Russia I have there were there were peasants but this was Hong Kong this was like being in England and I've watched enough history and I've done enough research to have been there with common sense. Bruce laid it out in his work. It's Italy that's meddling in everyone's business. The reason why there's no peace in Asia is because the gladiatorial games. clip this one and make a shorter rant refine this refine this and not be so emotional I mean there's nothing wrong with emotion especially for I love being emotional I'm an emotional being I feel things There's a spectrum of feeling that I have mastered. Napoleon Hill said, have a mastermind group. And I had one before I even heard him say it. And he said it before I was born. White Bruce Lee. 